Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So this is a video I make pretty much every year around this time and it has to do with the cheapest Australians that you can buy in the game. And I started doing this because I was trying to collect all of the Australians and I wanted to let you guys know what the cheapest ones were. And then there's a list that comes out later in the year that is the most expensive. So keep an eye out for that I guess. A lot of people seem to really like those videos. But after the first one, these kind of became like updates on the prices and stuff like that. But this one, this list has actually changed and it is kind of weird. So let's get into this. Really quickly, if you want to buy any of the Australians that you see in this video, there'll be links down below to stntraining.eu. They have all of these Australians on there for pretty decent prices as well. Really fast training site, a really awesome training site. It's my video sponsor for today. And yeah, all the links will be in the description. It's a great site. Check it out. So anyway, on to number five, we have the Ambassador at 9.7 to 10 keys. This is actually a new addition to the list, replacing the Frontier Justice from 2017. Even though the Frontier Justice only just doesn't make the list at a price of 10.15 to 11.1 keys. These ranges, I've got to say in this video, are ridiculous. I think it has to do with the recent key crash, but the ranges are very weird. So bear with me on that and i'm guessing that the ambassador nerf killed the, the price of this australian i'm not quite sure why it dropped down but that's the only thing i can really put it to and that's kind of unfortunate because i loved the old ambassador and i loved using the old australian ambassador as well and now i don't really use it anymore and the diamondback is just the king so it's kind of unfortunate but i mean if you guys like the ambassador and use it at close range then you know, you're, st you're in for some look. It's a still kind of expensive, but it's one of the cheapest Australians you can get. At number four, we have the Force of Nature, which lost pretty much a key in value. And it is 9.05 to 9.25 keys, which is a very, very odd range. I'm not 100% sure who made these ranges or if they are just because of the key crashes. But once again, the Force of Nature has always been like around this price. I'm not sure it's changed all that much, but the ranges have just got a little bit weirder. Um, it's it's all right. Like it's a decent weapon. It looks good. I really really like the Australian Force of Nature, but I'm not somebody who really likes using it, so I never really get any use out of the Australian one that I do own. Next up at number three, we have the Australian SMG with 6.5 to 7.3 keys. And that's kind of stayed around the same since 2017, which is good to see. And the higher range only, like the only thing that's actually changed about this is that the higher range has increased by 0 0.3 keys. So it was 6.5 to 7, I believe, or just 7. But the higher range is now 0.3 keys higher. So not too big of an increase at all. You can still get the SMG for stupid cheap, especially if somebody is quick selling it, you can get it for quite cheap there as well. And it's a pretty decent weapon. I do really like the Australian SMG, but the only problem with it is that it's the SMG, not that powerful, but it's still pretty good. I still really like this gun. And if you like Sniper, 6.5 keys isn't much to get or isn't much to pay for an awesome golden gun to use. At number two, we have the Australian Blutzauger. Now, this one was no surprise to anybody, I've got to say. But the only thing that's actually changed about this price is that it's lost almost two keys in value total from last year, which is one of the biggest drops that there have been. And maybe except for the Australian Ambassador, but I don't really have any records of what that used to be. But the Australian Blitzauger has lost two keys in total value since last year, which is insane. I'm not, once again, not 100% sure why this happened because I am not an uh, economist. So, you know, I, I have no idea. But the Blitzauger, not a great gun. Not a lot of people use it. But the Australian one looks kind of cool. But... Once again, I, I never use it. I prefer to use the crossbow. I believe everybody prefers to use the crossbow. And either way, like, it's very cheap if you like using it. But I, I don't know. They just need an Australian crossbow in the game. That's all we need. And finally, at number one, we have the Australian Extinguisher. Now, once again... It's not a surprise to anybody this was here, but the range is ridiculous. So it's 5.05 keys to 5.45 keys, which doesn't really make any sense. Like, I don't get the ranges at all, but it's lost around 1.3 keys-ish in value. And it's, yeah, it's, it's still not a great weapon. It used to actually be really good for those of you who played TF2 a few years ago, but it got nerfed a while back just killing the price of the Australian one, making the weapon pretty much, like, awful. I don't know many pyromains that still use it. I still use it, 
because I <laughs> I didn't really find any other weapon that I wanted to use more than that, except for maybe the power jack. But still, that got ruined as well, I think. But either way, Axe Extinguisher is not as good as you used to be. Still, all right, I guess. And if you have five keys and want an Australian to say you've got one, then you could probably find an Axe Extinguisher somewhere for that. So, not bad. So anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Also, I really hope you enjoyed the video from yesterday. It's a little bit different from what I normally do, and it's something that I'm not sure if I'm going to do again. If you guys seem to enjoy it, I have no idea at this point, because I'm recording this the day before this video is going live. So if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. I'd really, really like to hear that. Also, if you want to buy any of the Australians that you've seen in this video, the links to STN Trading, once again, will be in the description below. It really supports the channel if you guys go and click them. Even if you don't buy anything, it would be really cool if you go and click those links anyway thanks so much for watching the video i hope you enjoy it i hope you're excited about the most expensive australians list coming out later i don't know when it actually comes out either way once again thanks for watching the video and goodbye I walk with the elephants. Rolling, rolling.